Good morning. This is Lamb Shebang, the one I've been waiting for. I always play it twice when I come here. It's 27 holes of Jack Nicholas outstanding loveliness. If it was possible to marry a golf course, this would be the one I would marry. The three nines are mountain, lake and valley. Valley is the hard one. The, this course has staged every single Thai and Asian competition, tournament that you can possibly think of. And it's the dog's bollocks. And I think my lens is steaming up from the humidity. Right, just gonna find our caddies and go to the range. by saying I normally play well here but this nine has been completely refurbished back in 2018 it was closed so I never got to see it this is a new tee box I'd normally hit five wood wedge down here today it's a three wood that shot tracer didn't want to trace this is a bit longer than a wedge and the flag is way at the back. Obviously, we need to avoid the sand. The ball below my feet, I was pretty sure this was going to turn in. And it just did. But it's finished in a horrible place. It doesn't look it from here. But there is a massive amount of break on this. And it's incredibly fast. And the putt just turned away, straight away. And of course, when you miss on the low side, it goes a hell of a lot further. A long way back for the par. We're not too sure about the line. And the inevitable result is we start with a bogey. We go off to the second, and I said to my caddy, six or a seven iron. And she said, you're going to have to hit the seven too hard. It's an easy six, which is exactly what I thought. It's great that we're both on the same wavelength from the second tee box. Now land on the green. Great shot. Getting my instructions. And after that first putt that we both got completely wrong because of the actual steepness of the slope. I'm hoping for something a little better on this one. I've already, I've already taken it. The third. The bunker down the left is most definitely reachable. The one on the right, we can get past it. Oh, little right. Not exactly my best drive. Glad I took three wood down the first. Got to fade it towards this flag. The ball's above my feet, so I think that's probably unlikely. The first chip of the day. 
Now this grass is cut pretty short. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen. You don't often do on the first chip of the day. And that's a rather bit disappointing. Might have been easier if the flag had been all the way across the other side of the green. I would have had the opportunity to land on the green. The second bogey of the day. Things aren't exactly looking up at the moment. The first par five. Now what I can tell you from previous experience is those bunkers down the right are not to be tangled with. They can certainly ruin your day. So my target is the bunker down the left. It makes a good visible target to concentrate on. If the worst thing that can happen by going for a par 5 is you end up in a bunker and you make a par, well you might as well have a bang at it. Ok we try and make bird. Well after my first chip we're going to have to work hard on this one. But my caddy and I have a good talk about the direction the slope and the speed as my plane partner ignores his caddy and he bangs it about 20 feet past. Despite the hazard there's plenty of room on this hole. It's a lot bigger than the camera is showing you. Said okay. No, but what does the moment? Oh. Despite my caddy shouting herself hoarse, my drive was perfectly safe. The group in front were near that bunker, some 50, 60 yards away, playing their third shot. A little bit thin. I've hit mine a little thin. So I've finished right. That big bunker as isn't really in play. So just a simple chip and putt, we can get away with another par from a poor shot. My caddy wouldn't give me this one. She made me putt it. Almost identical to the previous hole, except shorter. And this time we've got water up the left, all the way up to the left edge of the green. I'd try to hit an easy one. Okay. And the end result is I'm just in the rough and that is what I'm trying to avoid with my second shot is that water left and the sand on the right. I took a club that wouldn't go very far up the green. Just on. Got a very welcome drink stop coming up. And I hope a par five to try and get another bird out of this course. My playing partner got in a spot of trouble here. He was all over the hole, so I'm playing out of turn just to keep things moving along. Whoa! Too hard. Oh, if I could have just hit that a little softer. And it was in. This is a par 3 with a long green left to right on three different levels. The flag is hard left, so I'm aiming hard left. Don't quite get the cut on it. Got to work a bit for the par.
mechanic's just told me short is okay, which is another way of saying don't hit your three wood in the bloody bunkers, here's your five wood. Greenkeepers have just given us a wave to play up. I don't know about you, but whenever there's greenkeepers near a green, I tend to shy away from them rather than going where I might do them some harm. Unfortunately, in doing that, I've done myself some harm. Long way, but safe. I've left myself one of the hardest putts on the green. Over onto the late nine. This bunker dead centre of the fairway. I can get over that. This isn't a particularly long hole. So even though it's intimidating, it isn't really. And I did hit that one out on the heel because I got 126 bunker left. We need to avoid that. Well, a little bit right. Fortunately, I've played this course so many times, it is very easy to sort out the putting with a good caddy. This is the strange putt of downhill, but into the grain. So, what, where I can see you? <laughs> I can see you. Ooh, no job. matter how many hints I drop, I don't seem to be able to encourage my playing partner to not stand behind me whether I'm driving or putting. I can't reach the green here, right is dead, I need to go left. I'm afraid four days after this round, when he was stood behind me yet again, I lost my rag. So that was a rather quiet oh, round of golf. But then, if you don't know the rules of golf and the etiquette of golf, Get off the damn golf course. Don't stand behind people when they're driving or putting. It's off putting, it's against the rules, and it can ruin somebody's score. Plus, he's just taken the flag off the caddy, which basically says, You don't know how to do your job. It's about the biggest insult you can make out here towards your caddy. Oh, right. Okay, nice. Nasty bunkers left and right, but from memory, the grain goes left to right. So if you can get the ball to the right of this flag on this hole, you're in business. Unfortunately, the left was more attractive because it was the fatter part of the green. So now I need a bit of luck. Wow. 
I normally hit a 5 wood up here with wedge or 9 iron. Today I'm taking driver and figure if I can get that bit closer, I might get a bird. Oh, Simon. Well, there's no birdies over there. I can only be grateful if not jungle. Although I suppose if it was jungle, I would have taken my 5 wood as normal. 127 up the hill. This is going to fly. And fly it does. But with no spin on it, it's not going to stop either. I don't normally putt over the fringe, but as it's downhill, down grain, I know if I get it on the green, it'll get there just by being a 1.68 ounce golf ball. 151 today. Taking a 7 iron, and I just want to fade it into this flag. Oh, Simon! Don't ask me how I missed the sand and ended up here. Just get it on the green. But as it sat down, the chances of me stopping it are rather slim. And there's absolutely no chance of a par from up here on the wrong side of the hole. Okay, Not a chance. Bad t shot gets a bogey. This is Jack's signature hole. If you want a flat line for your second shot, then it is a three wood. But that leaves you a long way back. Shot Tracer didn't like that one Slow down. either. By a long way back, I mean with a four iron. And look at that wall of death in front of the green. This is going left. I wanted to be just short and be able to play a chip and run. But it hit a mound, Safe. went across the cart path. Safe. Was most definitely not a chip and run. I suppose I should be grateful that I've got a golf ball and it's not in one of the bushes. Well, there's no hazards for me here other than the fact that I'm in the Bermuda Rough. This stuff is pretty tough. Even though it won't support the ball, the ball sinks into it. It's very hard getting a club through it at times. From 90 yards, I've only gone about 70. Now, I should have waited for my caddy here. She might have given me a better line or told me about the grain. As it happened, we're in trouble yet again. Oh, that's a good effort. Oh. Well, I've been here before. Now when you're playing a three or a four ball and your caddy is raking a bunker, what will happen is one of the other caddies will mark your ball, clean it and give you the line while your caddy is busy. But when you're in a two ball, there isn't always that opportunity. But I'm pretty decent at reading grain and this is hardly my first barbecue on this green. I've certainly had this putt before, so even though my caddy's indisposed, 
I feel confident enough to go ahead on my own. The double dog leg par 5. That bunker down the left is big enough to park an 18 wheeler in and you wouldn't see the roof. So we start by going a little bit right. I've gone just a fraction too far. Now in front of the green there's a huge mound so even if this tree wasn't in the way I couldn't go at the green. So now we go out to the left and that'll give us a view. Banana. I think perhaps I would have been better off with a three wood there to be honest and we're left with 45 if I could ask James not to watch this pitch close your eyes now <laughs> digging holes Oh, too hard. That's too hard. <laughs> yeah, two ball. Never bogey. Yeah. One, two, three. Thank you. Come, come, come.